Ryan, you've just spoken with the reporter yeah. who put out this the name yeah. of this station chief. How did this happen? Well, now look, he was a pool reporter on Air Force One. There's a small group of reporters that always travels with the president, as you know. And he basically asked for the names of the folks who were briefing the president at Bagram Air Force Base uh, in Afghanistan. A White House press person went to the military and asked for that list. A military person sent it back to the White House and, and with a note saying, this is for the pool. In other words, this is for public distribution. Gave it to the press. The press then wrote up, a, the, the, this, this reporter then wrote up a report uh, with that and other information, sent it back to the White House. As is customary. As is customary. To be sent out so the White House saw it before. And then the White out. House pushes the final send button. Now look, these are, you know, frankly, the White House aides that do this are, are low-level people. Um, and the question is, how did that name get on the military list yes. that was sent to the White House, that was sent to the reporter? What's the greater danger here? Well, Brianna, I think they're going to have to pull him out mm. now that he's been identified publicly. Uh, the Taliban probably didn't know his name before, but they will now. They will focus on attempting to assassinate him. And I think it's just a matter of fact that they're going to pull him out of Afghanistan. What, uh, it will affect his career over the long term, too. And what about those around him? Anyone who may have been affiliated with him but without knowing his status, perhaps it didn't raise as much of a red flag for the Taliban. Well, exactly. I mean, it, you know, they're, they're going to be able to look at him. His, his cover and the people around him are going to look like they're CIA, too, and they may have to take a whole unit out. It depends on the situation out there. But this is a serious breach of security, and the problem is White House staffers and some of the military don't understand the significance of cover and what it means for the CIA.